Hey everybody, Paul Turner here from thediscipleproject.net, and we are on to book five uh, today in our series of 31 books every youth pastor should read. And I hope that you've been enjoying the series. If you have, please make sure you leave a comment down below uh, and tell me some of the books maybe that you're reading. I would love to hear from you. And today is day five, and today is a bit more of a, I don't want to say a devotional book, but not a, not a self-help book, uh, but more like a book for the soul. How about we say that? It's a book that we really kind of dig deep, get a little introspective. And that book is Messy Spirituality by Mike Iaconelli. Now, look, if you don't know who Mike Iaconelli is, you need to go on YouTube, you need to Google that name, and listen to some of his talks about youth ministry, about Jesus, uh, about spirituality. And uh, Mike, you know, was uh, was the, uh, you know, the starter, the founder of, you know, Youth Specialties. Uh, and I remember seeing him uh, going there and listening to him speak at the conventions. And it was just a tremendous time. It was really, I would call it the golden age, if you will, of the uh, youth ministry convention there and but what I find is this book this book here came in to my life at a time when uh, religion was just rocking me it was just you know I just could not meet the standard uh, do you ever felt that way I just felt like I could never meet the standard and forget about you know Jesus standard I, I just couldn't meet everybody else's standard of what it meant to be a Christian uh, what it meant to love God what it meant to follow through with you know our you know disciplines and practices and things like this and what Mike does in this book here is he really, you know, breaks through and he, he, you know, if you watch the video, he writes like he talks. He uh, really shares from his heart of what it means to fall in love with Jesus and how Jesus just, you know, just ruins people's lives in the fact of that he just, just like with the Pharisees, and I am, by the way, a recovering Pharisee, and so this book was super important to my journey in the recovery process. And so, uh, you know, he tells, Mike Eckerman tells great stories. Uh, he really points out what it means in discipleship, you know, odd you know, type of discipleship, you know, that we're not very consistent. I know we want to program and systematize and and all these hoops and all these things, but really what matters most is the love of Jesus and grace and what that looks like and what that means in our lives. And if you're a young youth worker, you really should get a hold of the book, uh, read it, uh, especially if you're in maybe some more dogmatic type churches because uh, I've worked in a few of those and I tell you what, it can really work on your soul. It can work you over to the point that you just want to quit life, quit the ministry, quit church, quit Jesus altogether because you equate Jesus and religion. It's the same thing and it's not the same thing. And that's probably the best thing about this book is it really draws the line between Jesus and and religion and you get to read this and you get to take a deep breath and go you mean I don't have to be perfect <laughs> and that's just the best feeling ever so that is my pick for today uh, I, I, if I held this book up <laughs> wrong by the way I apologize that's what it looks like in its regular size uh, but anyway I appreciate you guys so much being here today I hope you enjoyed this book pick of mine today. If you've read the book, please let me know. If you have not, does it interest you? And uh, if you are a brand spanking new viewer today, thanks for hanging out. I hope that you're enjoying the series, uh, the 31 books every youth pastor should read. And if you would like videos like this in your inbox, please hit the subscribe button right here. And that will get videos like this in your inbox on a regular basis, not only about books, but about music and about youth ministry and my thoughts on that. Uh, if you're a regular, thanks so much for hanging out a little while. If you will go ahead and hit the thumbs up button, that's so important, guys. I always want to emphasize this. Hitting the thumbs up button ranks these videos here on YouTube. And the more thumb hits I get, the more this pushes videos like this into the, into the mainstream of YouTube and other people are able to find it. So please hit the thumbs up button. I sure would appreciate that. And even one step further, if you would share this video with somebody else who needs to hear this about this book would be great. So guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Appreciate you so much. And I'll see you guys next time right here on 31 Books Every Youth Pastor Should Read. We'll see you next time.